It's time to focus on Carolina's free agent edge rusher, Brian Burns. Let's go. Greetings and salutations and welcome to Ref the District's Player Focus. It's Brian Burns here on today's episode. I'm Nathan Perry. That's the stoner here from Ref the District on the Believe Network. Hey, free agency is upon us, stoner. Yeah, it's a, it's a big time in the in in what we need to look at here for the uh, Washington Commanders. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff that we're going to be putting out here in the next few weeks as the offseason has officially begun. So make sure you check us out. We, we're going to have stuff basically a couple to three times a week. So you want to make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button on everything we do. Hit that notification so you know when our stuff comes out. If you're listening on audio, make sure you leave a rating and review so that our stuff will get spread out a little bit more. And Nathan, it is going to be a an important off season here in Washington. Yeah, this is the one that people are really looking at as being Josh Harris's first season with the team. And of course, it's not just his, it's Adam Peters, it's Dan Quinn. How is this offense going to run under Cliff Kingsbury? How is Joe Witt Jr. going to run the defense? And there's a lot of questions and there's a lot of holes in this, this, this team that those uh, coaches have to fill and mask over time. Well, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to be doing this. And that's why we wanted to take a look at these player focuses because it's just so important as we head to the road to the next Super Bowl. We want to be one of those teams and we trust Adam Peters, who came from San Francisco, who has had teams make it to the Super Bowl to kind of build it up. And he knows how to build a roster. And if Washington's going to make it, you're going to want to make sure you put down a couple bucks there as they have long shot odds to make it to the next Super Bowl. But of course, if you're not interested in NFL action right now in free agency time, don't worry, NBA action and NHL action and baseball right around the corner. And don't forget about March Madness. And all of that is found right there at Bet Online, the premier source of wagering news. And I got good news for you as well. If you use the code BELIEVE, B L E A V, you can get yourself a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet Online, where the game starts. Nathan, it's going to be uh, exciting to hear you try and sell me on this particular player. I am not a fan of Carolina edge rusher Brian Burns, so I don't know what you're going to tell me to sway me to that side, but I'm ready to hear it. I I don't even understand, Stoner. Yeah, you're sleeping on him, and you don't want to sleep on our don't sleep player focus here, and it is Brian Burns from Carolina free agent edge rusher, our don't sleep player focus. And you can head over to don't sleep energy.com. Use the code district, get yourself 10% off all of their products, the, both their drinks, their five hour energy shots. You can also get some gear there and that's a local, you know, product too. That's mm-hmm. a DMV product. So make sure you shop local and you can do that right out. Don't sleep energy.com. Brian Burns, how can you not love this guy? First off, besides the fact that you might not like the dude Stoner, how Mm -hmm. about the fact that an edge rusher is absolutely need number one for this team? You and I argue back and forth on what's the second most important position on the team. We both agree QB, number one, absolutely. I don't think anyone disagrees with that. Now we get down to who's number two, and you and some others will try to tell me that it's the offensive line that is the most important, specifically that blindside blocker, your left tackle for most of your QBs anyways. All right, I get it. I totally understand. That is the third most important position in the game. You know, defense wins championships. And if you're talking to me about the QB being the number one position, then your number two position is not the guy who protects him because the QB can do some protecting himself, moving the pocket, moving the protection, all that kind of stuff. When you look at all the successful teams, they all have the number two position filled out, which is your edge rusher, somebody to get after a quarterback. It doesn't necessarily have to be an edge rusher per se, because we have seen Aaron Donald kind of fill that. We've seen here the defensive tackles, you know, creating some of that pressure up the middle. And you can mm-hmm. even go to, you know, Tampa Bay with Vea. They have people in the defensive tackle position that get after. But 
as much as we've kind of liked to say that Jonathan Allen and Deron Payne are pretty good at getting after the quarterback from the interior, we need somebody from the exterior, especially Stoner, mm. after you've just dealt Montez Sweat and Chase Young, yeah. who did make it to the Super Bowl. He had, I think, two pressures. He got that one sack that kind of he fell into his lap. But Washington doesn't have anybody. All of their defensive ends that were of vet status are yeah. off. So now you're only looking at the two edge rushers that you got from the last year's draft as a potential target. So when I'm looking at free agents that Washington should be spending their $80 million on, $80 plus million dollars on, this mm-hmm. is a hole that needs to be filled. And Brian Burns is the guy to do it. There, You could get uh, Josh Allen, who is fantastic and by no means is playing second fiddle to Brian Burns here. Uh, mm-hmm. I would be happy with either. But I do yeah. think there's a lot of value to be had in Brian Burns out from Carolina because he has had double-digit sack seasons, and he has shown potential to get after the quarterback. And I think there's just a little bit more to unlock. I think with Josh Allen, you're getting a premier talent at a premier price. I think you're going to be paying good money for Brian Burns, but you have a talent that I think the likes of Dan Quinn and Joe Witt Jr. can unlock and be a continual double-digit sack person for Washington for the next five years that he'd be under contract. Nathan, I hear you. I hear everything that you're saying, and I can't really argue with any of that other than this. We basically have had Brian Burns for the last four years or last five years here in Washington by the name of Montez Sweat. If you kind of compare the two of them, sure, Brian Burns is a little bit better and all of that, but what did Montez Sweat do for this franchise? Maybe I just have a little PTSD over this last year when everything just fell apart and Montez Sweat was still getting some stats, but he wasn't wreaking havoc. He wasn't changing the game, the outcomes of games from that defensive end uh, edge position. Sure. So why is it that I want to go out and spend the money it's going to take for him when I just had that and I said, oh, he's worth a second round draft pick. That's that's basically all he's to, worth. To be fair, the people who said that are really no longer the decision makers <laughs> for this team. Fair and, point. And not necessarily in the previous regime's defense here because it's not. I, I did not agree with that. Right. Mm-hmm. I wanted to keep Montez Sweat. I yeah. was okay with dealing Chase Young. I had said at the beginning of the season, if they had like seasons, you have to keep Montez Sweat because of the consistency. Is he necessarily a premier Montez Sweat, a premier pass rusher? No, but he is a good to great pass rusher. And Brian Burns is not just a good to great. He actually has, again, that potential, I think, to unlock. We did see Montez Sweat kind of cap out as somebody who was was a good to great pass rusher. Like you said, not really influenced the games. He's not a Max Crosby. He's not a Boza uh, that you saw, you know, being played out there. But Brian Burns can be, I think, in a defense led by Dan Quinn and Joe Witt Jr., be a guy who is disruptive where they do move him around. He, you know, is more of this edge that, uh, you know, he's when they put him down, in a down stance in Carolina, he really started to shine because they tried him at linebacker a little bit. He was a first round talent that, and he's showing that there's a reason why he is. I think that in Washington with the likes of who we have in the interior on those one-on-ones against tackles against, uh, you know, doing stunts and everything. I really think Brian Burns would take that next step here in Washington and be well worth it. Especially Stone. going to maybe head off a question here especially because even though you could get an edge rusher in the draft, I've looked over the top 100 picks over the last four years and edge rushers are a little bit more volatile when you're talking about what kind of snap counts they're going to have. So get an experienced edge rusher in free agency. You can develop a couple more from the draft, but you need somebody who's going to draw attention away from your interior lineman. Okay. So Let me ask you this, depending on what Washington does in terms of possible veteran cuts to where they save some, having some dead cap hits, 80 million bucks they're going to have somewhere in that neighborhood. Mm. You want to spend about 25% of that 
on one guy on an edge rusher who is when when you start listing the guys who are game changers who are wreckers of the Max Crosby's, the Miles Garrett's, the Bosa's, the Watts, all of them. He's not mentioned in those. But you want to spend 25% of the cap space you have available on this one guy. It's the second most important position, Stoner. I'm going to spend that money on that position, especially when I see it as probably the second biggest need in Washington. I can't say it's the biggest need. QB is the biggest need, right? And so... Second biggest need because the previous regime m- m- put this as devoid of talent. Maybe you re-sign a Casey Two Hill for cheap. Maybe you bring in James Smith Williams back and you kind of fill it out with these Jags, these just another guys. But you need a premier talent, and and Brian Burns can be that premier talent. And paying market price, which Montez Sweat just got like a hundred million dollar deal, mm-hmm. right? I think it was eighty million guaranteed that he had picked up. Yeah, market price, it's going to be expensive, but you need somebody of that caliber to help out this unit that is devoid of talent at edge. Can we can we look at the bargain bin on edge? Can we look at a guy? I'm trying to think of other guys who'd be free agent, won't cost as much. There's Oh, there's a guy in San Fran, uh, 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 Chase Young. You could bring Chase Young on a bargain basement deal here to Washington. That... I, I, it's going to be interesting to see what he commands, but no, I'm not sharp shop, shopping the bargain bin. The bargain right. bin is what we've seen with Casey to Hill with mm-hmm. uh, the guys that Washington's brought in. And there's nothing yeah. wrong with having players that are in that, that kind of that tier of talent who are your backups, who are your guys that your fourth and fifth guys that you're bringing in, but you need a number one on edge and Brian Burns is going to fill that. And then you can fill out the second and third with hopefully some talent either in the draft or maybe one of those chase young bargain bins uh, in free agency. <laughs> right. Awesome. Well, uh, I mean that you, you kind of, you kind of sold me, Nathan, you given me a little bit of something to think about in terms. I don't know what anyone else is going to say about kind of what they feel about Brian Burns specifically, but about the edge position and whether you want to go and get that in the draft or you want to spend it in free agency. But it'll be curious what everybody says about this particular player uh, in the comment section. Yeah, absolutely. Let us know. Did I convince you? Should Washington go after Brian Burns? Or are you still on the fence like Stoner is as far as taking an edge rusher? Maybe you want Josh Allen. Maybe you want Chase Mm -hmm. Young back. Let us know here in the comment section if you're watching this on YouTube. Of course, hit that like and subscribe button. If you're in audio, you can find us on social media at Ref the District. Give us your response there. And of course, you can join us Wednesday live at 730 Eastern every Wednesday and join us in the comment section there as well. I'm Nathan Perry. That's the stoner here on Ref the District, a part of the Believe Network. This player focus has been brought to you by Don't Sleep Energy and Bet Online. Until next time. You know he'd be another commander, right? Be a fan. <laughs>